Hi guys. Oh, I'm gonna put my, let me show on pause, hold on. It's about to get good. It's Stranger Things, and then watched it about a bazillion times. And I love it. But I'm gonna put on pause, because I like this part. Come on. There we go. All right. So, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are doing my TBR for, well, the personal TBR thing that I'm starting. <laughs> so this year, what I want to do is try to get through as many books as I have started, but not finished as possible. Now, this is going to be a lot because these are just the books that are here. These are not including the books that are at my mom's house, which I've not gone through yet. And I'm a little scared to do that, to be honest. Yeah, but this is how I'm going to do it because to me, it just, I don't know. You know, whenever you're looking at your collection of stuff, I mean, whatever it is. Like for me, I, 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 I don't know. I don't collect books. I buy them to read them and... Sometimes I buy them used and they're beaten up. And you know what? It's the only marine biology whatever book that I've never seen that I needed to have in my life. So some of my books are like that. Some of them I've got on discount. Some of them are brand new. Some of them I've had for years. There's a lot that I've had for years, especially over at my mom's house. And there's a few that I've had here. Yeah. Anyway, so here's how this is going to go. If it's a series, I want to finish the series. If it's not a series, I want to finish the book. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to finish all the series this year or any of these books this year because I'm going to be really busy with school this year. But I'm really excited for school. So I'm like, you know, if I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. But if I need the break, I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to try at least, at least to read a chapter a day. I'm doing really bad right now at that though because I'm, I don't know. I just haven't been doing it or at least a section or whatever, however the book is broken up. So that being said, because I want to speed up my reading, so for school reasons, I can't get into all of it yet, but you guys will find out as I go along in that journey. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So the first, this is pretty much the TBR of all the books that I've started, but haven't read or haven't finished and all of them that are at my house, if that makes sense. Yeah. Now, there's some series that I've started and I read the first book, but the first book is finished, but I didn't finish the series. That's my next challenge is to finish the series that I'm in the middle of or that I started buying or whatever. But I haven't got to that yet, so I'm not even going to do that. Some of them are series like Harry Potter, for instance. I'm going to grab that right now because it's literally right here on top. I've read the first book. I've read the second book. I've read half of the third book. And this was about 15, 20 years ago, whenever they first came out. I don't even remember when that was. And I've also reread this one. And I started the second one a second time. Never finished the second one the second time. Never finished the third one the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read all the way through, starting at number one. I'm rereading it. Yeah, because I can and why not, right? So there you go. That's my first one. I'm not going to show you the whole series. You guys know the whole series of Harry Potter books. Um, yeah, but I have all of them, so I'm going to read them all. Yeah, so that's on my, my to-do list. Okay, anyway, you get the point, right? Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is actually the one that I already told you guys about in my last video when I first came up with this idea, but I didn't know how I was going to formulate it yet. Um, this is the Stephen King It. Of course, the front cover is missing, so because my cats decided to eat it, and it's been around literally from Wanda's house to my mom's house to, I think I even had it at the apartment, but it wasn't there whenever it caught on fire. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it in my hand right now. But this is one of my most recent ones that I've started, so I don't need to go back and start at the beginning again because that would be ridiculous. And I am a good chunk of the way through, so I'm just going to keep going. But this is the first baby that I'm busting out because look at it. It's huge, and I need to read it. Got it? Got it. Okay. <sighs> you know what? I know. 
I think there's one, there is one that's missing. It's not over here. Well, that's okay. I'll mention it at the end if I mention it. But I know I have it, so I don't know what I did with it. That's weird. Because I could have sworn I pulled that one out. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go through the pile that's here and then figure out the rest later. So I have Boys in the Boat. I did start reading this because I was going to go to the Maritime Academy in Vallejo. And I got accepted and everything. And then the divorce and child custody, all that happened. And I moved here instead. And it made me a little sad whenever I saw it. And then I was like, oh, no, I can't read it. You know, like, I don't know. But now it's time. I mean, the movie came out. The movie was great. It was actually fantastic. And I really am looking forward to reading the book now. Now that everything's kind of swinging back in my direction. So, okay, next I have The History of Atlantis. Again, one of those books that I've read bits and pieces and parts of. Never read the whole book. Again, I'm getting back into all the marine biology stuff and all the other crazy things that are about to come with it. So I'm looking forward to reading this, picking it up, finishing it. I'm probably going to restart a lot of these, to be honest, but that's okay. The next one is Into the Bermuda Triangle. I have used this book for so many reports because I am fascinated by this place. And so naturally there's bookmark things in it and everything. And I'm super looking forward to just diving back into Again, all the mysteries of the ocean. So there's going to be a lot of those books in here. This one is a little bit random. It's probably one of those ones that's going to make me cry. I know I've started it and never finished it and started it and never finished it. That is um, Time to Let Go by Lurleen McDaniel. I don't know if you guys remember her. She's very old school. Uh, it's a short, like, young adult, I don't know, kid. No, it's not a kid book because it was young adult at the time. But, like, now it's so short. It should be a simple, easy, fast read. This one is Kicked, Bitten, and Scratched by Amy Slether Sutherland. Sutherland. Um, I have to read this book. I really wanted to go to this school. I might do this eventually and go back. Actually, that's part of my plan. But we will see when and how it happens or if it happens. And yeah, but I do want to read this book because, again, this was like my dream school. So I had to. Yeah. I just had to, I have to read it. Uh, this next one, I actually just picked this up. I didn't pick it. Uh, I mean, like I picked it up and started reading it. I read like the first chapter. It's going to be a really fast, easy read. It is a kid's book. Um, it looks like it's based on a shark because you can kind of see the shark teeth, but I don't really know what it's about. Um, yeah, I don't really, really know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but it's Dark Waters by Catherine McFall. I don't know. The next one, because I figure I'm still going to be doing this around Christmas time, I picked out The Christmas Secret because they did start reading this and never finished it. I love all of her books. She wrote The Christmas Shoes, which makes me cry every freaking time I read it. And yeah. So here we go with the next one for Christmas. Ah, uh, this one. Oh my God. I'm so excited to read this again. One of those things that I'm getting back into. So I'm very excited to read, pick this up and read it. Whoa. There's a lot of other books that they wrote. How funny. Okay. That's cool. I didn't even know that. All right. Well, this is Traveler's Tales Guides, uh, Women in the Wild, True Stories of Adventure and Connection. And it's a bunch of short stories about People who go on it, or women that go on adventures and stuff that they do. I'm pretty sure there's a story about Everest in here, and I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. And it got me hooked on wanting to go and climb Mount Everest, which, you know, it could happen. You never know. We'll just see if life happens, right? Um, this one, ah, oh, supernatural stuff. Uh, Hunt, for, or Hunt for the Skywalker. Oh, this is like Skywalker Ranch. I don't know if you guys know anything about that. If you don't, look it up. It's really cool. Again, I started reading it. I think I made it through like the first couple chapters and then I put it down and didn't pick it back up for whatever reason. Life happens, right? This next book has been well loved. I've read it, I think, three times-ish and I never quite make it all the way through. This is Anne Rice's The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty. It is a dirty book. It's really, really, really dirty. It's a trilogy. Tri tri trilogy no oh, I can't talk it is a trilogy and I'm determined to finish this damn freaking thing okay I just need to finish it that is all I don't know what else to say about that it's, it's a naughty book though so don't go buy it unless that's what you're into this one I recently started I only read oh my gosh 
I want to say, I mean, I even highlighted like first couple of chapters. This is How to Be Like Walt. If you guys don't know, Walt Disney is my man. I don't care. That's all I have to say about that. If you know me, you know that I love Walt Disney. And I pretty much try to grab every book that has anything to do with him. Although there's a ton out there. So I still have a lot to collect. But yeah. Um, yeah, again, one of those things. That you guys just have to hang on to see what I'm going to do with my life. <laughs> Okay, this one I started reading in high school, and then I loved it so much, I bought it, and I never finished the freaking book. This is Peace Like a River by Leif Enger. Um, I don't even remember what this sucker is about. I just remember that I really wanted to read it, and that I only read it halfway through, and then I stopped. So, you know, I'm going to pick it up and read it again. This one, oh my god, this one. Again, marine biology. You guys know me and my marine biology problems um this is the silent world by Jacques Cousteau <laughs> and they did make a movie based on it what the heck there's all like confetti bits in here that's crazy all right anyway they did make a movie based on it like way back in the day I'm sure I have not seen the yet but again yeah I've read a chapter or two and then I get busy with life and I don't finish it so we're we're doing unfinished business now this year man let me tell you okay the next one is roll of thunder hear my cry I started this not that long ago I just randomly picked it up I think Lewis had it for something or somebody had it I don't know look at the price of this book $2.99 that's crazy to me anyway yeah want to read it um, I did, again, I started reading it recently, and then I just stopped. This one I actually started reading for a class. This is Don't Shoot the Dog by Karen Paler. It is an animal teaching, animal training kind of um, book. And again, look, see, highlighted in it and everything. Yeah, yeah, but never finished it. This was back in my, my animal, wannabe animal trainer days. Um. I'm not going to say too much about that right now. We will just see what happens in the future, right? Okay, the next one is a series that I started. I actually finished this whole book. I got to the second one, and then I made it like halfway through the second one, and then I lost the book because the move happened from Vallejo to down here. And then I recently found the second book, and I was like, oh, there it is. I've never finished it. I have read this book again. I read this one all the way through. I actually read it twice all the way through, and then... The second time I only read the first one and I didn't make it to the second one, but the first time I read the first one and then the second one had barely come out and that is for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I know there's six of them now. I have all six and I'm ready to just read them and enjoy the magical world of all of that. Okay, the next book haha, is Clive Kuzler. This is the first book I ever tried to read by him um I don't remember how far I made it through I just no I think this is the second book I think I finished the first one but this is this very 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 first not very very first but it's Dirk Pitt's first adventure and I read a Dirk Pitt one and then I was like I need to go back because I had missed stuff so that was what made me start looking into this one. Of course, it's scuba diving, so you know I'm gonna love it, and you know I'm gonna go through all of the Clive Kuzler books because I'm extra like that and need to have all that in my life. So, yes, ready to go on an adventure, excited. Okay, next is Even Cowgirls Get the Blues by Tom Robbins. Again, read a few chapters and then I stopped. I don't know why. I just stopped and I'm pretty sure this is like a cowboy love story book thing but I know it's really popular or it was really popular I don't know if it is anymore but that's okay all right this one I'm also currently in the middle of and I'm not starting over because I just started it but um this is the next one that I think I'm going to read after it I think maybe hmm hard We'll see. But this is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. I do know that there's three books in this series and then they have the Once Upon a Broken Heart or whatever it is. Once Upon a... I think it's Once Upon a Broken Heart that comes after this that kind of ties into this. So I have that book and then I have this one and I'm like, oh no, because I really wanted to read the Once Upon a Broken Heart but then I found out you needed to read this first. So I started 
reading this one I am a hundred no, two hundred and fifty pages in and uh, I'm really into it I really like it a lot and I just need to bust through it again I, again I get overwhelmed with life and sometimes I just stop and I have to like refocus so that's kind of been the case with a few of these Okay, this one, I accidentally read the prologue and the first chapter, and then I stopped myself and was like, no, because you have so many other books that you're into, especially the Stephanie Garber one, right? And this is the Clarissa, or sorry, Cassandra Clare Swordcatcher book. I've been wanting to read her books for a while, and this just happened to be the first one that I saw that had come out, and I knew it was an adult fiction, fantasy, and I wanted to read that and see, you know, what her what her stuff is all about because everybody talks so much about her on the booktube world, right? Okay. That's so strange with the other book. I'm telling you guys, I thought I had pulled it out and I guess I must've put it back. This one I need to read right now because it would just make sense for me to read it right now. But have I? No. I've read like the first, again, two or three chapters. This is Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeover. I have two copies of this book. That's how much I've tried to read it, okay? That I have two copies of the same damn book. Um, but this one, I just need to read. I just need to do it, honestly. Just knuckle down, buckle down, and do it. So there you go. I'm going to try, okay? I'm going to try. This one I actually started reading while I was in the hospital recently. I just randomly picked it up and started reading it, and especially because... I started watching the movie and then I talked to my mom about it and then my mom was reading it and then after that I was like okay I'm gonna try to pick it up and read it it's 20,000 leagues under the sea you guys know I'm an ocean girl of course I'm gonna have this book and I just need to read it I don't know I'm crazy but I'm I'm all oceany right now so well kind of and everything else going on but speaking of ocean I have Ocean Anatomy, uh, The Curious Parts and Pieces of the World Under the Sea by Julia Rothman, the cutest little book ever. Um, it has a lot of good, just interesting basic facts. Um, yeah, like just, I don't know. It's really, it's actually really good and fun to read. And it's fun to see all the little pictures and everything. So I'm really enjoying that one. I am 67 pages into it. Again, I just need to read it. Okay, the next one. Oh my God, you guys, this book. I'm going to have to start over and I'm like, <sighs> this is a really cool book. I made it like halfway through and then like, I don't know what happened. Life happened, but the back cover ripped off of it and it's very old and it used to be at like um, a high school library or some like, I don't know, element, not elementary school. I don't think elementary school. But like maybe a high school and it's old you guys see how old this is okay so it's called hunter's tracks by la hunter so basically it's about this guy who goes after poachers and tries to hunt them down because they're doing a lot of killing and leaving the animal and stuff like that so um but there's one in particular he's doing it like super bad like with poison and all kinds of and it's making all the other animals sick and I don't know. It was really, really interesting. Again, I just got busy with life and I never finished it. So, and then I pick up something else and start reading something else. And then there you go. And it's just like a vicious cycle. So here we are. We're reading it. Dang it. Anyway. Um, yeah, the book's ripping. So I'm going to set it down now before I rip it, but there you go. Okay. This next one, I've been wanting to reread this forever. Um, I did start it. Oh my God. A couple I don't, but I didn't make it that far. Oh, how funny. Aw. My hospital bracelet. Okay, so this is Into the Land of the Unicorns. I love this book to death. I keep saying that I'm going to do something with this book, and I haven't yet, obviously, but someday, someday I'm going to do it. Maybe sooner than later, if things go my way for all the things that I'm planning. So, but I do want to reread this. I think I reread some of it recently. That's why it was over here. Actually, it was over on my nightstand for like the longest time. But I think I read like two or three chapters and then I stopped and then life happened. So, there you go. 
And then this next one as well, I was in a um, anthropology class and that's kind of what got me wanting to read this because it went right along with what we were learning. And then now, well, now I do want to do some anthropology stuff. So there you go. I don't know what else to say. Okay. This is a new human. It is a story about this guy or group of people who discover kind of like a missing link. I don't know if that's what you would call it though, but like, you know, where, um, you know, like our ancestors, like between the two, you know, between apes and what you call it. Well, there's a different homo sapien, but it's not a homo sapien. It's called something else. It's like Florence something. I don't remember. It says a startling discovering strange story of the hobbits of Flores, Indonesia. There you go. That just gives you, that gives you a brief overview. But I did start reading it again. I didn't finish it. And the class is obviously over with. But I do want to read the book because I learned a lot in that class. That was such a good class to do. Um, okay, and then I have The Hidden Messages in Water. This one, oh, I love this book. This book is so freaking fascinating. Um, <clears throat> I've read bits and pieces. I've used bits and pieces for, um, you know, school books. I mean, books. Oh, my God. School papers and everything. But I don't think I've read it all the way through. So the, I did actually bookmark where I got to, which was page 47. There's not that many pages in it, but it is super fascinating. It's really cool. Um, it's just about like how the molecules of water react to certain things and like, uh, man, I wish I could give you guys a better. Here it says, the hidden messages in water introduces the revolutionary work of internationally renowned Japanese scientist, whatever his name is, Masaru Emoto, who has discovered the, that molecules of water are affected by our thoughts, words, and feelings. Since humans and earth are composed mostly of water, his message is one of personal health, global environmental renewal, and, sorry, and a practice plan for peace that starts with each one of us. But it's, it's such a good book. It's really, yeah, it's cool. Anyway, and then, Lastly, over here anyway, I'm going to have to find the other one. I'll tell you guys what it is in a second. This is George Orwell, 1984. Now, this one, this one I barely started, I barely picked it up. Uh, not barely picked it up, but like, I mean, picked it up and started reading it like a couple of months ago. I think I read the first two chapters and then I put it down because I'm going to do another challenge that I'm going to read this book for. But I did want to include it in this video because it's going to kind of cross over between the two. So I just wanted to show you guys that this is indeed one of the books. Um, but it's going to count for two challenges that I'm going to be doing. This one, obviously. And then for another one that I'm going to be doing soon. Yeah. And then the last book that I actually don't have over here that I'm surprised because I swear I pulled it out is Moby Dick. You know how many times I've picked up that book and tried to read it and I make it like halfway through. And the thing is, is that I'm really fascinated by it and I love it. And the only problem is, is I just ran out of time. And that's what happens with all of these books and why I start reading them all. And then I stop and then I don't get any done. And then I'm like struggling in life and you know, but my goal this year is really, I mean, if you've watched my other videos, you know, like this, this, I call this my year because this is going to be my year and I have lots of things that are going on positive, mostly positive. There's a, there's a little bit of negatives, but not really. I'm trying to tone those out and just be super positive and start doing the things that I love again. Like, I mean, I'm in school right now and I love it. I love it. I love my classes. I'm really excited for the future things that I'm doing and I just can't wait. And I'm like, okay. And then I started making a list of all these things that I want to do and just putting a start to all of them. So that's what 2024 has been for me. Uh, my surgery was kind of the kickoff for it. Kind of, sort of. <clears throat> and yeah, I don't know. But look at my Starbucks that I've been babysitting all day long. Do you know how long it takes to drink things?
but it's like my little treat, so I'm okay with it. All right, guys. Oh, I can't swallow too fast, so. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go, and I hope all of you guys have a wonderful, beautiful night, and you enjoy your time on this earth <laughs> wisely and enjoy every minute because you know what you only live once and that is all that i have to say go read those books go on those adventures you know shoot for the moon land among the stars whatever it is that you want to do you can do because i can do it so i know you can as well on that note i'm gonna let you guys go and i hope you have a fantastic night